Part of the reason why I've decided to come public with something that's so private for me is because I want people to understand that not only did I hit rock bottom, I hit rock bottom like 20 times. Girl, hitting rock bottom at least 20 times must have been horrific for Lisa Nicole Carson. But what exactly made her hit rock bottom over 20 times? Honey, I can tell you that I have heard a lot from a mental illness to an addiction to her losing all her money and Lisa being blackballed. And what are all these murmurs about her willingly choosing to engage in bestiality? I mean, y'all remember the very curvaceous, beautiful Lisa with the most amazing hair, Rob. Right. I just want to take this time to really? take off my hat because I've been given specific instructions to take off my no, hat, you wear the hat and to show America that this is no weave. Lisa was most certainly one of the most talented actresses and was in so many shows and movies from Ally McBeal to ER, Love Jones, and so many others. She was actually one of those actresses who normally had supporting roles, but she was usually very important to the overall plots of the shows, like Eve's body you and Devil in a Blue Dress wouldn't even make sense without her roles. So just like several celebrities in Hollywood, Lisa has had quite the journey. And unfortunately, she's not been one of those who's had success after success in Hollywood. And of course, several things have also been said about her time in Hollywood, including some pretty disturbing allegations. For instance, she was making quite the headlines back in the day for allegedly engaging in acts with a dog. I know it's insane. Allegedly or apparently, she was required to engage in bestiality for a role. But even after performing the act, the directors did not give her the role. They basically just laughed at her after she did it. This is actually one of the reasons why a lot of people side eye her and say they don't feel sorry for what she went through after her fall from grace. I don't know how much truth there is to this story, but it is just one of the wild rumors out there. Best believe that her fall was also pretty massive because there was also a blind item on Lisa a while back, which said that she became became a waitress after losing all her money. In fact, there's a fan who actually said that she recognized Lisa when she was a waitress at a burger joint and decided to ask her what had happened. According to the fan, Lisa said it all started with thinking that everything would last forever and that even when Ally McBeal ended, she thought she would get another show in a second, which was why she had not bothered to save any of the almost two million she earned from the show. She said she had also bought a house, but ended up refinancing it and losing it during the recession because she could not afford the payments when the interest rate went up. Allegedly, Lisa had also done a lot of C-O-K-E when she had her hit show, but could not afford it when the show ended. So she turned to cheaper options, which took a long time to get off. In addition, for a while, her boyfriend stayed with her, but he got tired of the drugs and partying. So she found other guys that did enjoy it and they would take care of her. The fan also said that Lisa's family would not speak to her anymore because she had borrowed and borrowed from them without ever paying anything back. And she also allegedly stole from them. Now I know that all of that is probably a lot for Lisa to just share with some random person, cause that's a lot of information to share at a burger joint. So it all could just be rumors. But what people had started saying is that the crack had started showing, but obviously not for long because Lisa managed to get off them. And it's been said that at some point she was involved with a Jamaican boyfriend who contributed to her fall from grace, allegedly. Well, she has not been open about all these things that I've mentioned, but one of the things that Lisa herself said made Hollywood throw her out was her bipolar diagnosis. Back in the late 90s and 2000s, I was having a series of nervous breakdowns. I had managed to uh, keep it under wraps for a while. The thing is, Lisa had always been a high-spirited individual and she enjoyed making others happy. However, while her co-workers enjoyed her antics, one producer from the show ER, which she was starring in, didn't find her behavior enjoyable. This is because he allegedly had seen a similar situation with one of his family members who ended up being diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And the producer expressed his concerns with Lisa's behavior, but she disregarded them. That was until she had her first psychotic breakdown in 1997 and another in 2000. And you probably remember that one because it made headlines after she was hospitalized. But I had um, an episode in, in New York at a hotel 
and it got leaked out to the press. Lisa actually also opened up about that episode in an interview with Essence, where she said that she was in New York City catching up with loved ones when she unexpectedly had a fit in her hotel, yelling, throwing things, crying, and raising enough hell that the staff called an ambulance. She said that she ended up being hospitalized for a few weeks and a psychiatrist gave her a bipolar disorder diagnosis. However, she was still in denial, and that sort of made her journey to recovery even harder. There were attempts to treat me, but I was in complete denial about having the illness. If you are in the throes of a nervous breakdown or episode, they can get to be life or death situations pretty easily. So I had experienced a couple of them back to back and um, I kind of had to learn the hard way. Well, Lisa did get better. And while she was able to get back on set and even said that the production was very welcoming, they still did not renew her contract for the next season of Ally McBeal. She actually revealed, quote, upon being discharged, I returned to Los Angeles and went back to work on Ally McBeal, feeling more in control. Everybody on the show was wonderful to me, but my contract wasn't renewed for the final season. Nobody gave me an explanation, but I assumed it had to do with what had happened. I was devastated, end quote. Well, speaking of her episodes, there was also a rumor back in the day that Lisa got fired from ER because of her erratic behavior. Supposedly, the final straw was when she ran around the set naked and was hysterical, and the writers killed off her character, Carla Reese, rather than recasting the role. So it's possible that she was also wrapped on Ally McBeal for the same reason. But something else Lisa said happened was that once her episode became public, she was torn apart in the press, which really hurt. Unfortunately, that incident in 2000 was not the last of her breakdowns because in 2004, Lisa had another breakdown and it was even worse than her previous breakdowns. In an interview with People Magazine, she said that it was the closest everything came to collapsing for her. According to Lisa, that's what marked the beginning of the end of the disease for her and she decided that whatever was going on in her life had to take second place. She had to take her medication and fight the illness with everything she had. Lisa also told People that the reason she opened up about her mental illness was to let people People know that it's possible to get out of it, adding, I never wanted to breathe a word about what happened to me, but I've had a change of heart. It's rare for someone who has something as severe as I've had to come out the other side, but I'd like to let people know that you can, you can get to the other side. As if it wasn't hard enough that Lisa had to deal with her mental illness, can you also imagine that the industry blackballed her for apparently being difficult to work with? Given there are people who are really difficult to work with in Hollywood, but in Lisa's case, it's not like she just chose to be difficult. She was literally battling a mental illness while doing all that she could to control her life. And as she said, the media also tore her apart and that also made it difficult to get back to acting. Imagine going through all that and once she logged in online, the only thing she saw was people making fun of her episodes and others slamming her for being crazy. So Lisa did stay away from entertainment, but instead of letting the illness take control of her, she took control of it. I'm very blessed to have lived through it. It became pretty evident that I, this was something that I had to take care of to save my life. And while it could have been a lot worse, aren't we all glad that she's trying to get a hang of things? I don't look at my life as tragic. I look at my life as miraculous. Fortunately, there is still hope for Lisa. And tell me you are not dying to see those mesmerizing dimples grace the screen one more time. But I would love to know your thoughts on everything she went through that led to her disappearance from Hollywood. From her being a waitress to the crack allegations, the mental illness, the blackballing, and also trying to get back on her feet. So sound off in the comments section below.